Hello my friends and welcome to Practice English with Paul. Today's video is the first in a series of the five common mistakes made by Russian speakers who are learning English. But this video can be applied to anyone around the world. Since I work in Russia, I happen to know what common mistakes Russians make. And I'm going to make a series that explain the most typical ones and how to avoid them. So let's get this done quickly. So number one, this summer, I will pass my state exams. I love it when Russians say this because they're so optimistic. I'm going to pass. I will not fail. But we don't say that in English unless you've paid money already to your examiner. Um, we say this summer I will take my state exams. I will sit my state exams. I will, uh, I will write my state exams. We don't say pass. Pass is the result of taking your exams. You pass or you fail. Number two. I love this so much. It's actually quite funny and I laugh when people say this. I grow my children. That means your children are standing in the garden and you pour water on them every day. Grow! Um, we don't use that. Uh, we say I raise my children. I bring my children up. I um, would refer you to another video I have on my YouTube channel that deals with all of these words like grow, grow up, raise, bring up, etc. Check it out and it will help you. Um, so I'll put a cross through that. Number three, very common mistake. Your behavior may influence on your job prospects. Can you see the mistake? Absolutely. This little preposition. We don't have the preposition with the verb influence, but this is where students get confused. If we have the verb phrase to have an influence, we need the preposition to have an influence on. But as I said, with the verb, we don't have it. Okay, so it's important to make that distinction. Number four, I've been in England. Now, this is wrong-ish, a bit wrong, but not completely because it does exist, but it depends what you want to say. Usually, students are talking about traveling. So if you're traveling, that preposition is wrong. I need to say, I've been to England, I've been to Russia, but, I can say this, I've been in Russia for 10 years because now I'm talking about position, location, where I'm staying, not about traveling. So that's the difference between these prepositions. But again, usually in most classes when students talk about traveling somewhere, they need the preposition to. Number five, I catch, excuse me, oh, such a horrible mistake. I catch the train yesterday morning. Yes, I think you know where the mistake is because I almost vomited. It's that. What is the past of catch? It is caught. Catch, caught, caught. Get it right. It sounds horrible to my English ears. So those are the first five. Now I'm going to make another video on the next five common mistakes. Okay, see you in a moment.